All right, so today is gonna be full of fun adventures. Emily is taking the kids to her sister's house That's in Patton, good. Missouri. And so, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. I have a meeting with the pastor in town and then uh, we have Daniel coming over, Daniel Messick, to look at our solar. And we're hanging out at this coffee shop here in Fredericktown, Missouri, where we're gonna spend lots of time. There's gonna be some really fun, cool updates on our life. And I'm going to the farm for a giant turkey dinner. So, so much going on. It's gonna be a great day. Let's do this. Myself, which is really nice sometimes. Our Victron battery app was like really messing up and I was like, what's going on? And so I looked at it, it was like sitting in water. So I had to let it dry out. And now I'm going to put in a new ethernet cable to see if that fixes the problem. And hopefully we could find out the percentage of our batteries again. Cause currently we cannot. Here's the new ethernet cable. We're gonna plug this guy in and see if this fixes our problem. It'd be really nice to be able to read our battery percentage again. Here goes nothing. All right, so here is the old ethernet cable and I'm gonna take this out and uh, try to put in a new one and see if that fixes the problem. So let's take that guy out. Ugh. Got it. This one got pretty dirty. So I'm hoping that this new one will do the trick. Though, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if this is gonna work because the blue one is definitely bigger. Well, I'm gonna give it a shot and see if it works, but I think the blue one is too big. Fits, and unfortunately, it does not. I'm gonna resort to trying to actually clean this out first. So the hope and thought was that maybe an air compressor can help blow out the dirt that was in here, um, but no luck. So the plan now is to use a toothbrush and see if I can kind of like clean it out that way. Yeah, I'm gonna put the clean side in and see if that does something. All right, so it's plugged in. I officially think this thing is broken. So Daniel's gonna be here in a few minutes. If Daniel has an idea of how to fix this, that would be epic. Introducing Shane to Wagos. <laughs> All right, we got Daniel here. I legit forgot to video anything. That's okay. Right? I feel like we missed so much. But we kind of just upgraded our system a little bit or degraded, I guess, is that a word? Um, the idea is to disconnect all these battle, uh, battery warmers so that our Victron Connect will be a little bit more reliable because all these batteries were before the shunt, not after it. And so now the idea is um, we're gonna try to fix this thing and hopefully get it working. Don't go swimming with your... Yeah, that was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, so don't go swimming with these because otherwise they might need to be replaced. But yeah, so when we installed, he installed them pre the shunt just because of time-wise, we just wanted it in there quick. And so it was given an inaccurate reading to this guy. So we've disconnected the battery warmer since we're going in the spring and summer now. 
and we would just went through and just double connect tightness of these and finding new opportunities of growth. Uh, example, we're gonna swap out one of these cables at a later date, it's a little undersized, as well as a fuse being oversized. So I've got this chart that I've created that I'm working on that we're helping use and Shane to show them what we should be doing. I'm learning so many things. So, so what my theory is with these things, I'm gonna put them on my Patreon. And if you sign up, you get all my PDFs. Yes, you, and your Patreon's up and running now, right? Yeah, it's in construction mode, but it is up and running. Woo! -hoo. Okay, well. All right, so we're actually gonna put in the uh, links below. We'll make sure to have um, Daniel's Patreon there so you can Patreon and learn about solar stuff. I'm going to be, uh, has anyone been in your Patreon yet? Because you just uploaded it. I just, you're the only one that's ever seen the link. Brilliant. So I'm going to be your first Patreon. Brilliant. Exciting. Thank you. <laughs> so this is the inside of the BMV. 712, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to figure out exactly what's wrong so we could solder and patch it. And we... We might could, but I don't have the micro soldering skills. I can see that some corroding happening there. It's just like a matter of can we repair it or not. Hopefully, we can just get one shipped out today. Yeah, that'd be great. And this is Daniel's rig. The Look at this thing. Banana so van. fun. The banana van. See the OG yellow color? Oh, there it is. So why'd you change it from yellow to blue? Uh, because this was a Chicago truck. And so the banana was looking pretty ripe. It had a lot of brown spots on it. So when you're gonna go through all the hassle of painting, pick the color you like. So we got this baby blue for Rachel. I love it. I'm sure Rachel loves it too. Do you have solar up there too then, yeah? Yeah, this is back small panels. These are just a little 100 watt there and two 100s up there. So 300 watts of panels up there. Uh, tool storage, kayak storage, tent storage up there. No border patrol ever looks up there. So we're hanging out here in a future coffee shop deciding where we want to put seating and where we want to put bar stools. Right now just the drive throughs is open. We'll end up showing another video of what this place is going to look like once it's actually up and running and things are happening. I thought it'd be kind of really cool to show you the coffee shop before it's actually completed and done and people are in here hanging out and working kind of like what Bailey's doing right now. All right, so a lot of people have been asking us like, hey, what's going on with your new bus? That's a long, it's a long process in the making, but this is the new bus right here and they just finished the roof raise. I'm gonna show it to you now. You ready, Daniel? There she is. They finished the roof raise on it. We're gonna start working on this thing really soon. Always, no matter where you're at. <laughs> you never know if a hurricane can come through or a tornado, I guess. Home sweet home. <laughs> Gianni and Lena, and we're gonna hang out here at Emily's sister's house. This is Elizabeth and Patrick, also known as Aunt Isbit and Uncle Pat Pat. And we're gonna go. I haven't seen my kids all day, so I'm so excited. Daddy. What are you guys doing in here? It's Aunt Liz and Uncle Pat Pat! Look at you guys being all married and cute and hanging out in your house. Are we cute? We're yeah. so cute. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. Carve that turkey. Carve that turkey. Carve that turkey. <laughs> Carve it better, Patrick. Carve it better, please. It's a ritual. <laughs> This is Patrick. See him cut. 
Alright. Oh, you looks so good, Patrick. Look at that. I just want everyone to know we have been demoted to the kids' oh table. God. Look at these guys. I sat at the main table and I was told, actually Shane, you need to sit at the kids table. I was like, ha ha ha, they weren't kidding. Look. Dancing on a wire, reckless, it seems. We're gonna race. Are you ready? Alright, you mark. Get set. Go! We found holes in these walls. We like what we saw. And just like that. The best day ever is coming. cows. <laughs> Well this concludes the end of another fun vlog to make and I have to go to Emily's sister's house to pick up my backpack because that's where I left it and that's where my laptop is and that's how I'm going to finish this vlog so thanks for hanging out with us this week everybody and we hope that you are listening to our new song Utah which is now live everywhere and you can check that out on all streaming sites so check it out thanks for listening thanks for being here goodbye everybody Fire, our house, our